the spark Kagiwa. Four seconds to go. Here's Cortez. 4-3. Almost off the glass. Kagiwa has it. He fires. Oh! It scores! Mark Kagiwa scores from the backcourt. He was a 13-time PBA All-Star. He won nine PBA titles. And he scored 10,075 points, the 17th best mark ever. Here is the career retrospective of Mark the Spark Kagiwa, his basketball upbringing, his rise to stardom, and the story of the greatest loyalty in PBA history. Early life and getting to the PBA. Mark Anthony Yu Kagiwa was born in 1979 in San Juan. Mark has two brothers, Richard and Ronel. He is the oldest of the three children. His father and first teacher, Rick, knew that at an early age, his son was destined to become a basketball star. At seven, Kagiwa made it a habit to drain a tiny rubber ball into a toy ring that was 10 inches in diameter. There was something about the way Mark moved, the way he shook and baked, the way he held the miniature rubber basketball in his hand, and the way he shot it inside the toy ring, some 10 inches in diameter, in our backyard. He was only seven, and it seemed like he was born to play the game. Mark started dribbling at the age of eight. Mark's father took notice of his potential when he scored 47 of his team's 56 points in a Barangay Kids League. The father was convinced he had a future star for a son. In 1988, Mark's father left for the U.S. to try his luck overseas. He got a job as a cable TV technician, and a year later, called for his family. Mark and his family migrated to the U.S. in 1989. Mark spent his teenage years in Eagle Rock, Los Angeles, California, and sharpened his basketball skills at Eagle Rock High School in Northeast Los Angeles. A late bloomer at Eagle Rock High School, Mark started shooting baskets alone at age 14. Chanced upon by a coach during lunch break, he was trained for the varsity team in the ninth grade. Inactive there, he asked to be transferred to the junior varsity, where he averaged 24 points. In 12th grade, a flurry of events ensued. Mexican coach Julian Andrade pushed Mark to a 26-point average. He was scouted by the Division I people and ranked fourth among 150 standouts in California. In 1997, Mark Kagiwa, with two school records under his belt, one for points made, and the other, for most points of the season was hands-down choice for Eagle Rock High School most valuable player. Mark was a two-time MVP and led Eagle Rock to two straight conference titles. He shot 1,154 points in two years to set a new school record. Mark graduated from Eagle Rock High School in 1997 where he averaged 26 points and 14 rebounds to stamp his class as a collegiate prospect. Kog Giwa played collegiate basketball at Glendale Community College. There he met Brian Boschman, a longtime men's basketball coach at Glendale College. Brian gave Mark the sixth man role in the team where he averaged 11.4 points and 5 rebounds with 59% field goals. Mark gives us a little juice coming off the bench, Boschman said. Kagiwa earned the sixth man award and was named to the first team All-Western State Conference in the 1999-2000 season. Mark was invited to try out in a camp for Phil Ams in California where scouts from a number of PBA teams saw him play. The persons who saw Kagiwa's potential were Frankie Lim, assistant coach of Mobileye, and Ron Jacobs, team consultant of Hinebra.
Rookie of the Year and Immediate Superstardom. He Nebra and Mobiline scampered for the rights to get their hands on the blonde-haired freshman Kagiwa. As a virtual unknown in the Philippine basketball scene, Kagiwa was drafted by the He Nebra Kings as the third overall pick in 2001. Mobiline tried desperately to get Kagiwa. They were set to trade up from the fourth pick to the third to draft Kagiwa. But as fate would have it, Hinebra rejected Mobiline's offer and then took Kagiwa in the first round. He was the surprise first round pick in the 2001 annual rookie draft. He was an obscure entry, and his selection to the glamorous Latindenu team bothered some die-hard Hinebra fans. For no one knew who he was then and where he came from. No one knew about his credentials. Expectations were not high as Kagiwa started as a role player and backup for superstar Verhul Meneses. However, after showing strong performances and helping to lead the Kings to the 2001 All-Filipino Cup Finals, he became very popular. Mark Kagiwa is the new sensation! With his crossovers, drives to the basket, and penchant for making clutch plays, Kagiwa earned the respect and admiration of Filipino basketball fans. Ooh, what a shot! They're down to eight. Hindi pa tapos yan. Now they'll put pressure in the backcourt. Spectacular move from Kagiwa. Do they have to put pressure? They should have done this earlier. Oh, oh wow! Now they're in the game. Nilaglaki Kagiwa. Twenty in the game. His exciting brand of play earned him the moniker, the Spark. The move up and under. And then a steal, four points in a row for this Glendale Community College. Ka Giwa has caught the league by surprise as he comes up with above-the-rim performances each game which easily makes him one of the most colorful, and yes, most admired PBA players. After Ka Giwa, long distance shot. Bang. Yes, you can see it coming. That's his first real DDIDD long distance. He instantly won the hearts of a big legion of fans. He has become one of the darlings of the Hinebra crowd. A certified crowd drawer. Palpito kicks it out to Mark the Spark. He takes a shot. Seven in the game for Kagiwa. He has so much confidence in his game. In less than a year, his name has become a byword among basketball fanatics, especially the young ones. More than the hair color is the heart that never says die, the performance where he gives his all, and the brand of play that never surrenders, no matter what. Kagiwa! Yes, sir. 22 in the game, six in a row, and the lead is out the board. Proof of his quick rise to stardom in the league was the second largest number of votes that got him included in the PBA All-Star game. He beat the likes of Alvin Patrimonio, Johnny Abarientos, Kenneth Deremides, and Danny Ildefonso as he amassed 6,978 votes, a few shy of top vote-getter Danny Siegel. I never thought it would be like this. I'm lucky to be with He Nebra San Miguel. I love the way the fans cheered for us. You surely play better when you know that a lot of people are looking up at you and praying that your team would win," Kagiwa said. His biggest claim to fame was his being a vital cog in helping a ragtag He Nebra team reach the finals of the All-Filipino Cup in his maiden appearance in the league. Number one, the All Filipino Conference Best of Seven Series between the San Miguel Beermen and the Barangay Hinebra Kings. Ka Giwa had put up significant numbers for Hinebra in his first two tournaments with the team. He played above expectations in the All Filipino Conference, averaging 15.1 points, 5.3 rebounds, and 1.6 assists. He was number one among the rookies and number 13 overall in scoring. At the end of the tournament where he Nebra finished second behind sister team San Miguel Beer he was fourth in the statistical side of the most valuable player race, behind Danny Siegel, Danny Ildefonso, and John Limpot. In the third and last conference of 2001, Mark Kagiwa became the hands-down choice for Player of the Week from November 5th to 11. He reaped the big dividends after leading the Kings to the quarterfinals of the Import Laced season-ending conference. Kagiwa, 
along with backcourt partner JJ Helterbrand, with whom he forms a tag team partnership known as the Bandana Brothers, rallied the Kings from double-digit spreads past Tandwai 88-85 for an outright slot to the next round. Led by Ka Giwa and Helterbrand, the Kings came charging mightily back from a huge 19-point deficit. At the end of his first PBA season, Ka Giwa was the third He Nebra player, after Don Don Ampelayo in 1986 and Marlu Aquino in 1996, to win the Rookie of the Year award. 1,200 votes from the five-man committee with a total of 11,508 votes from... The Fast and the Furious and Back-to-Back -back Championships In the 2004 PBA Fiesta Conference, Hinebra coach Shot Tankwingsen used a three-guard combination lineup of Santos, Kagiwa, and Helterbrand which enabled the team to have a running game. It was during this time that the backcourt tandem of Kagiwa and Helterbrand became known as the Fast and the Furious, in reference to their running game and to the movie of the same name. Their play enabled Hinebra to win back-to-back -back championships. On July 7, 2004, Ka Giwa and Helterbrand helped the Kings end a seven-year title drought when they defeated Red Bull Baraco in a best-of-five finals, 3-1, capturing the transition 2004 PBA Fiesta Conference. Seven years, Kagipay, ang mga kalalaro, ang mga tamasuporta ng Barangay Ginebra, at bumalik po sila ngayon dito, sumugod sa Aranet at Colosseum, umasa na naman uh, 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 kasal, no? na patuloy na. On February 11, 2005, the Fast and the Furious proved that their last championship was not a fluke by winning the next conference. They dethroned defending champion Talk and Text, 4-2, in a best-of-seven series. This was the team's first back-to-back -back championships in franchise history. Dubbed as the Fast and the Furious, the Kagiwa Helterbrand tandem has been at the forefront of Hinebra's five championships since Helterbrand entered the league in 2000 and Kagiwa following a year later. Kagiwa and Helterbrand had gone the highest of highs and the lowest of lows in the Hinebra franchise. They started as the upstart Bandana Brothers days and became the face of the franchise as the Fast and the Furious, before settling as reliable veterans for the Hinebra team. Continued excellence and most valuable player. Because of his brilliant plays, Ka Giwa was named to the RP training pool for future international competitions. He participated in several exhibition games against the Iranian national team and the NBL's Sydney Kings in mid-2005, where he impressed the latter team's coach by scoring 27 points. He also played in the 2005 FIBA Asia Champions Cup held in the Philippines, in which his team finished fifth. He averaged 19.8 points and 3.4 rebounds per game in that tournament. In the 2006 Philippine Cup, Ka Giwa earned Player of the Week honors three times. He led the league in scoring at 24 points per game, and broke his previous career high for points in a single game, scoring 45 points against Air 21 in PBA Philippine Cup's wildcard phase. He became the first guard to finish a single season as the league's leading scorer since Alan Kadic in 1995. In the 2007 Philippine Cup, Ka Giwa averaged 24.7 points per game in the 23 games he played. 
He also led the league in statistical points for the best player of the conference award. Ka Giwa piloted Hinebra to their seventh championship in franchise history by besting the San Miguel Beerman in a best of seven final. During their series against Talk and Text in the semifinals, Ka Giwa scored 34, 31, 26, 35, and 31 points in five games. In sports, naala ni Barangay Ginebra guard Mark Despart Kagiwa, the best player of the conference award. The best player of the conference from the Barangay Ginebra Crims, Mark Kagiwa. On February 16, 2007, Mark Kagiwa unanimously captured the 2007 PBA Best Player of the Conference for his lead role in Ginebra's entry to the finals of the PBA Philippine Cup. Kog Giwa again helped his team during the 2008 PBA Fiesta Conference, culminating in the team's eighth championship. He also led the league in scoring with 19.82 points per game. In the 2008-09 season, Kagiwa failed to suit up for the Kings due to his tendonitis on both knees. On March 30, 2012, Kagiwa suffered a scary eye injury when he was accidentally hit by James Yap with the back of his wrist, breaking his orbital bone eye socket. Right there may have been the left hander, or it could also be the floor. Mark Kagiwa returned from a career threatening eye injury and came up with a performance that inspired the He Nebra Jin Kings. He marked his return from a two month layoff with a flourish, providing He Nebra firepower and leadership as the Kings ripped the Air 21 Express, 103 to 85. After suffering a scary eye injury, Kagiwa never saw himself recovering fast enough to be able to finish the 2011-2012 season with a bang. He found himself surrounded by two best player of the conference awards, the Commissioner's Cup and Governor's Cup. Mark the Spark Kagiwa back-to-back best player of the conference awards here in the 37th season, Jason. I said, uh, this was Player Award is the top individual honor in the PBA. Players grow up dreaming of one day winning the MVP tonight. More than 10 years after entering the PBA, Ka Giwa was officially handed the Most Valuable Player Award for his performance in the 37th season of the PBA. And the Most Valuable Player of the 37th season of your Philippine Basketball Association is from your Barangay Hinebra Chin Kings, Mark the Sport Kagiwa! He posted averages of 16.32 points, 4.76 rebounds, 2.27 assists, and .78 steals in 30.63 minutes of play across 41 games while shooting 33% from beyond the arc and 39.7% from the field. So finally, a most valuable player, Mark the Spark Kagiwa. The Spark was also named to the first mythical team and awarded the PBA Comeback Player of the Year. Milestone achievement, loyalty, and final years. These are the PBA's 40 greatest players of all time!
Due to his individual accolades, major impact on the Filipino public, and contributions toward the positive development of basketball in the country, Mark Kagiwa was included in the list of 40 greatest players in PBA history on April 8, 2015. On July 20, 2015, Tim Cohn was appointed as the new head coach of Hinebra San Miguel, starting in the 2015-16 edition of the Philippine Cup. The new-look Jin Kings have won three straight under the wing of coach Tim Cohn and have reached above 50% mark after an 85-70 whipping of Global Port. Mark Ka Giwa came out of his shell and held his own against Global Port's highly touted guards. He produced personal season best numbers, scoring 22 points while also doing a good job on the defensive end versus Terence Romeo and Stanley Pringle. At age 36, Mark Kagiwa has settled for a reduced role but has responded well when needed. In Game 4 of the 2016 Governor's Cup's Best of Seven Final Series against Moralka, Mark played a crucial role in his team's late rally and finished with 8 points to help Hinebra squeeze out a hard-fought 88-86 victory. Moralka went on a scintillating 34-4 run to take the lead and build a 74-58 advantage going into the payoff period. On the back of Kagiwa and his backcourt partner Helterbrand, Hinebra mounted a 33-4 rally of their own to flip the scoreboard and take an 82-76 advantage. The fast and furious duo combined for 15 markers during the run. The series went up to Game 6, where he Nebra captured the 2016 PBA Governor's Cup. Following their recent PBA Governor's Cup title, Mark Kagiwa signed a two-year contract extension with the He Nebra franchise and won another championship in the 2017 PBA Governor's Cup. A few days after their championship conquest, Kagiwa's longtime backcourt partner, JJ Helterbrand announced his retirement, thus ending the fast and the furious era of Hinebra. Uh, I thought it was the best time now since we just won a championship. And, uh... On October 5, 2018, during the elimination round of the Governor's Cup, Mark Kagiwa reached the milestone in Hinebra's 106-92 victory over the Enlix Road Warriors. Kagiwa, who has spent all of his 16 seasons with Hinebra, became the third player in the franchise to record 10,000 points, next to Francis Arnaz and Sonny Jaworski. Uh, Mark Ka Giwa continued to play for Hinebra after the 2018 PBA season. He was able to add two more titles to his bag, the 2019 Governor's Cup and the 2020 Bubble Philippine Cup. While his high-scoring ways might already be a thing of the past, Ka Giwa still makes his presence felt, with his leadership, particularly to Hinebra rookies. Lagi kong sinasabi talaga ang leader siya sa team. Yun talaga yung isa sa, ano niya eh, ma mahal na mahal na yung mga young guys. Coach Tim Cohn emphasized that the spark now shines brighter for Hinebra off the court. It's great to have him on the team because he has a great leadership presence. He is incredibly a positive influence to the younger players, said Tim Cohn. On October 18, 2020, Mark the Spark Kagiwa notched a major personal milestone as he became the all-time PBA record holder for most seasons played with a single franchise. So you're talking about Mark the Spark Kagiwa in his 18th season, all-time most seasons played with just one franchise. He officially marked his 18th season with Hinebra in a 105-91 win over Miralka in the Philippine Cup. Ka Giwa converted on a fadeaway jumper with 115 left, bumping his career total to 10,075 points. Oh, 
There you go. He's been doing that for 18 seasons in the PBA. And, and that look, that look, you know, you know he enjoyed that. After the 45th PBA season, Mark quietly decided to retire. Mark has quietly, from what I understand, decided to retire. Kog Giwa left professional basketball as a champ as he was part of the Jin Kings lineup that won the 2020 double season title. He has averaged 13.5 points, 4.4 rebounds, 2.1 assists, 0.7 steals, and 0.1 block a game throughout his PBA career, which spanned 744 games.